Star Castle for the Vectrex. Originally for the arcades, it was originally developed and published by Cinematronics for the arcades in 1980 and ported to the Vectrex in 1983. Ported by GCE, up to two players take control of a Star Cruiser and have to destroy the energy cannon within the revolving walls so you can rack up the points. You control your Star Cruiser by rotating it clockwise and counterclockwise with the joystick. Button 4 makes you shoot and button 3 propels you forward. Buttons 1 and 2 do the same as the joystick just in case you prefer the arcade controls. This could probably be the best arcade port the Vectrex had to offer. And I'm saying that in spite of my Starhawk love. In this game you must destroy this cannon protected by its castle of walls and the stars. Or maybe it's a black void as there aren't any stars. In order to get a shot at the cannon, you must destroy the walls that are protecting it. But you can't destroy them all, for if you destroy one layer, the cannon shall generate another, so you'll have to make a gap wide enough for you to take a shot. Another thing to be observant of is the appearance of the energy bombs that spawn in from inside the walls as they make their way to you. You can either try to avoid them by screen warping around, or shooting them can work too. If and when you shoot a wall off all three barriers, the energy cannon shall start defending itself by shooting fireballs. The best thing to do is to avoid the firepower and find the right time to place a good shot. And when the cannon is destroyed, you'll receive an extra star cruiser and move on to the next round with increased difficulty. But if you get hit by either the bombs or cannon of energy, you'll lose a life. Lose all your lives and the game is over. Overall, this is a faithful port. Minus the stars, it's almost arcade perfect, retaining its difficulty and fun factor to give you the same arcade experience on the Vectrex. And stop. At least the buzz isn't loud like in the arcade. Thanks for watching guys, be sure to like, share, and comment on the video, and if you want to see more quick views, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. This is Brian the Blue, and I'll see you next time.